Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the bald explorer, and I'm out on another walk. And this time, well, hang on a minute, this little dog with me, little Lola is here. Hello, Lola. Come on, Lola. And this time, we're having a little walk from Warning Camp, which is down here in West Sussex, a tiny little hamlet that I think boasts um, two telephone boxes or two post boxes, one telephone, no church, uh, no village hall or anything like that. And we're going to go towards Arundel. But in order to get to Arundel, um, we've got to cross a railway and I've got a dog. And this is not easy filming with a dog on a lead. So, Lola, hang on, wait, wait. Right, we've got to stop, look and listen, and there's nothing there, so over we go. Mind you, don't slip over. We're going to be walking along the River Arran this morning, on Boxing Day as I record this. Come on, through here, Lola. Oh, oh gosh, just ripped something. <coughs> I don't recommend trying to film with a dog on a lead. Now then, uh, in front of me, in the distance is Arundel Castle, the seat of the first Earl of Arundel. He was also the first Earl of Shrewsbury, Roger de Montgomery, all those years ago, back in 1066, when the invasion happened. Now, my walk may well be a bit muddy, so uh, Lola, I'm gonna take you off the lead just for a second. Come here, are you ready? Oh gosh, that's one. It's a complicated setup. She'll probably get covered in mud as we try and walk along the river towards Arundel. And oh yes, I can see it's very muddy. Uh, just this gate is muddy, and so I'm going to just actually attempt. This is ridiculous. I'm going to attempt to climb over this rather than go in the mud because my walking boots, well, <coughs> I came out with my walking boots <sighs> and no shoes to change into. So ordinarily I wouldn't care, but you know what it's like driving in slushy walking boots and mud. Anyway, here we are, fantastic. Look at these amazing reeds um, on my side here. All right, Lola, whatever you do, don't fall in the river because I'm not going to go and rescue you. So the purpose of my walk really today was just to get an extra video in because I was having a, a break over the Christmas period um, with recent uh, personal issues, uh, like the death of my father to sort out. And then in the new year, to crack on and be a much more optimistic with the things that I want to do. Now somewhere we should see the river. Oh, yeah, there's the river. This river, of course, goes down to Littlehampton. It's tidal for a certain part of the way. And it starts at the estuary of Littlehampton. Oh, wow. <laughs> few, I think, are they mallards? Anyway, whatever they are, they've just shot away. The river continues up uh, towards, well, past, past Arundel, and I think goes up to somewhere called, oh golly, I'm showing my ignorance again, Pallum Locks. It used to be a navigable route up to London. Uh, with the access of canals. You would come off, take a sort of detour through the Hardham Tunnel and then go up through Stopham um, and then further north where it would join the Way and Arran Canal eventually and then you could get to London. Anyway, that's all by the by. <laughs> I just wanted to sort of talk about really the, the plans ahead, the things I want to do in the... Um, forthcoming year 2018 so certainly more walks more villages and towns is the plan to get out and see 
which is going to be fantastic, um, particularly in the spring when the light is better, there's blossom and the towns and villages actually look better. I don't really want to show them off in the winter because the winter can look pretty bleak and I think towns and villages should be seen in their best light. Um, but other than that, I want to be doing more countryside walks and I want to look at trees. This year I want to look at nature and I'm particularly interested in identifying plants, shrubs and trees because trees in particular can give you um, great insight into the history of the landscape. On my left now, get a great view of Arundel Castle. You can't really see Arundel Castle when you're in Arundel. Um, as you come over uh, the hill down from uh, Crossbush, you get to see the castle. Uh, and then as you drive in, it suddenly disappears. Of course, being a privately owned castle, um, you have to get permission to film in there and they're all a bit strict. So I haven't been able to do anything like that yet. I think once I've built up an audience, perhaps they'll open their doors and, and let somebody like me come in and film. Another thing I want to do is to get more uh, people involved, more partners to walk with who have particular favourite walks and would be interested in taking me on those walks and telling me a little bit about the history of the walks and the, um, the reasons that they like it, perhaps some of the, the nature, the fauna and flora um, and all that sort of stuff. That's really where I see that the potential for the channel is going to go, involving more people and finding out more things. There's so much to um, explore and know about this fantastic nation and this wonderful country, its heritage. Everything has a reason and a purpose in here. This land has been farmed and um, built on um, and ploughed and um, lived in and all that sort of stuff for so many centuries. It's such a, a fantastic place that you don't have to go far. But I do want to go far. I want to go a bit further afield. I want to be able to go through more of Sussex, particularly when you've got longer days, one can travel and, and get more uh, films done and uh, go um, the extra mile really to to bring in the content, but not just Sussex, but just the surrounding counties. My partner lives in Shropshire, so I'd like to see that area too. Um, so plenty to look forward to, hopefully, 2018 on the Ball Explorer. So do give me your suggestions of places that you would like to see me go. Do invite me to come along and join you. Um, and if you fancy supporting the channel, then it would be great uh, because that gives me a little bit of petrol to bung in the old fuel tank and go and explore these places. So I'm wishing you a happy new year. I hope that 2018 is going to be fantastic for everyone and that this channel will bring you lots of entertainment and a little bit of education at the same time. So from me, Richard Bobes, to everybody watching, Happy New Year, and I'll see you on the next one. Come on, Lola. Good girl. <laughs>